Welcome all to the Den of DBZ All-Star. This is DBZ All-Star, or Steve if you prefer. This is my first Funko Freakout video. Now, a Freakout can be a positive thing, or a Freakout can be a negative thing. This is a little of column A and a little of column B. Today, I'm talking about my latest Funko acquisitions. These first two I'm going to talk about are the Funko Pop Television number 1284. This is part of the Parks and Recreation line. This is Mona Lisa, who was an exclusive for fall 2022 for the convention season. She was released at New York Comic Con 2022 with a convention exclusive sticker. The shared exclusives, this was a shared exclusive with Target, but could also be purchased off Funko.com with this shared exclusive sticker. And over here, we have the Pop Funko and Pop Tea. This is the Diamond Edition Spider-Man from Spider-Man No Way Home's end sequence featuring the Steve Ditko inspired design here. I'll also be showcasing two shipment arrivals. So, both Mona Lisa and Spider-Man were store pickups from local stores. We'll start with the bad and we'll move into the good, switch over to another bad freak out and another good freak out we'll conclude with. So with regards to Mona Lisa here, move Peter out of the way. As you can see, we do have some quality control issues here with Mona Lisa, not sure how well my Samsung Galaxy S20 FE is picking up, but if you look closely, you can see there's some quality control there along the hairline. I do love the concept of this pop with Mona Lisa's money please being given homage here was something she utilized as a way to get her way during the beloved sitcom Parks and Recreation. I do love this line, but I've really dramatically reduced the number of Funko items I do purchase due to the way I feel about their business practices, as well as the fact that I want to have some semblance of self-control. For example, I was collecting just about everything regarding the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super lines. I do not do that anymore, and that is due to self-control, and again, the business practices that Funko partakes in. Quality control is one of those. We have seen some absolutely amazing and wonderful molds, concepts, and actual products come out from Funko over the years. But it seems like the past couple of years they might have gotten too big for their britches. They're putting out products that people are not interested in. They're engaging in NFTs, which are a controversial product. They're not fulfilling orders with their retail partners. It's a real mess. There are some great products. They do make a lot of people happy, but they're kind of a controversial organization. And I'm not a big fan of quality control issues. Yes, they do happen, but this is not the first in instance I've seen with Funko. Uh, the local target that I used for a pickup, setting aside Mona Lisa here, for this item, for example, when they were releasing the Eternals Pops, they had an exclusive, I believe it was um, Cersei in civilian garb, 
they had about 36 of those and there was not a single one that did not have a similar issue with the hairline painting quality. There were a lot of skin tone issues with uh, regards to the color of the skin tone being part of the actual hair for that CRC pop. But moving on to a good freak out. I picked this up about two weeks ago, same day as I picked up Mona Lisa. This is the Funko Pop T Spider Man No Way Home Pop and T. This is part of the Diamond Collection. This was released as part of Target Con at the end of February 2023. You can see some nice sparkle there. Uh, picked it up in an extra large. I honestly prefer a double XL because it's a looser fit on me. I don't like having some room to breathe. But this is a wonderful t shirt. Not sure if I wear it. We'll see. Um, might display this as I have been these last two weeks because I had to decide whether or not I wanted to actually post this video when I originally made it. I'm remaking it for probably the sixth time because. I don't like to put negative energy out there, but I've come to the conclusion that if I'm just being informative and I'm expressing my opinion, people don't have to agree with it. It's not necessarily a negative thing. So, it's the rest of the box here. I do have a small Spider-Man display. It includes omnibuses. Or on the buy trade paperbacks on the boo, I guess. <laughs> if you watch Omar's in your main condition, we call them that as well. As well as Funko Pops. So this has been sitting on that shelf. It's probably where it will go back. So moving on to a negative freak out. I got this. I wanna say the Wednesday before this past Wednesday. So that would be February 22nd, and let me show you why it's a bad freak out. So, I have resolved issues with this with customer service, but I left this in the box because I did plan on making this video. This is the Target Con Funko Pop comic cover featuring the on the cover of Amazing Spider-Man 300, the first full appearance of Venom. We've got that cover shown in full there. We've got Spider-Man in his black costume. But this is as it came. No protective substance whatsoever. That's how they shipped it. And as a result, got some damage there. So I was rather upset, understandably, because at the minimum, you expect some sort of protective packaging or substance to keep the product that you're paying for safe. I have had a number of issues with Target, including some bait and switch on the on their part. Uh, and unfortunately, I think this is just going to be an ongoing issue. So best thing you can do is if you're willing to keep it, if it's an item that has sold out and they're not willing to replace it, even though... Personally, I think they should. The least they can do is offer you some sort of financial compensation, which is what they did. Called them up and they refunded the product. So that was great. I'm willing to forgive. I'm not going to forget because this is just a continual issue with Target. So this, again, was released as part of the Target Con the end of February. And I'm really digging these comic covers. I'm not complete on collecting them. I think I'm going to pick and choose, but because I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, as one of my buddies Greg can attest, this was not one I was going to pass up. So, setting that aside, moving on to the final. Let's end on a good note. We have the Funko LLC, Pop Marvel, Spider-Man No Way Home, S3, or Wave 3, 8-pack. And this was exclusive to Walmart. Let me show you 
here. It is a large, large case. So, Walmart in the past has not sent any protective material. They did do the bare minimum here and include some protective material here in the form of, I call them, shipping bubbles. I'm gonna pull this out gently so you guys can get a look at it. I received this the exact same day as the Spider-Man comic cover. So what this is, is the Funko Pop Spider-Man No Way Home 8-pack. This was released as part of the third series for this line. And you have the Tom Holland Spider-Man. You have the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. And you have the Amazing Spider-Man. And down here, you have Doc Ock, you have Electro, you have the Unmasked Willem Dafoe, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, you have the Lizard, you have the Sandman. As you can see, you have the Walmart exclusive sticker, the Spider-Man No Way Home logo. Come over from the top here. Videos are not meant to be professional, they're just meant to be for fun, so I'm filming it on my coffee table here. Show off the side of the box. Show off the back of the box here. Show off the other side of the box. I do not know that I am going to display this one until I have more room. But this is a wonderful, wonderful product. Big fan. I'm not collecting all of this line. And there are a couple figures in here that for now lizard and sandman that are exclusive to this eight pack and i could very well invest in the build a scene statue of liberty sets that are coming out i'm not going to do that because i already also indulge in the amazon three pack featuring these three spider-man spider-men here but this is great. This cost me about a hundred dollars after shipping. If y'all enjoy these, or just if I continue to enjoy having fun making these, I might continue this Funko Freakout sequence for the Den of DBZ All Star. Thank you for tolerating my technology. I think as I continue doing these, I will improve my technology. I'll improve my skill set. Because we all gotta start somewhere. But stay healthy, stay safe, you are loved, you are valued, you are strong. Have a great day.